right. Run the NPSP health check in your org. So this is to determine if our org is healthy or it needs some cleanup of data to make it healthy. Sometimes uh, if everything is sluggish or slow, it needs some cleaning up like our body need some cleaning up from time to time exercise you know get your sweat out so clean up all the bad stuff out of your body so i'm gonna go ahead and dive into our trailhead playground over here and i'm gonna go to npsp settings npsp settings and then we can go to system tools on the navigation and we should have health check over there and since this is a playground which has almost no data we just put some dummy and sample data there so under system tools i don't think there will be any errors run health check there and you can see if anything needs your attention. Like this example, if I go back to the trail, this is what we just did. And you see some errors here. Household account data and an opportunity contact roles, both needing attention. There are three household accounts that have no contacts. So there are accounts, but zero contacts. That's weird, right? And it's a, it's a household. So you need to clean that up. What happens? Some staff member created an account but did not create the contact or the contact was deleted but somehow the account wasn't, wasn't get deleted. And the contact rose. Like this example, Health Check found three opportunities that had more than one opportunity contact role marked as primary. We don't want that. We just want one contact to be the primary for opportunity contact roles. So if you found those, you need to clean this up. So you can dig in further through the reports and then NPSP health check. So if we go back here, oh, we do have some recurring donation. So the opportunity stage pledge does not exist or is not active see we can clean this up opportunity payments warning 31 opportunities that should have payments are missing those payments because we were just playing around okay so there are a bunch of um things see they are checking everything and you i i don't think i can go through each of these one by one but it has a pretty obvious instruction right there so follow the instructions to fix those and you can also dive into reports over here and then you go to um, all the reports and then go to npsp or maybe folders all folders npsp health check under the folders and then you can see this to fix it to fix it so here, opportunities without payments. Um, I think we have those, right? That's the warning we had there. So number of payments because we were just playing around. This is even Salesforce stuff, right? This is out of the box Salesforce stuff. It doesn't have payments because it's not generated by nonprofit. But yeah, that's the warning. And then, oh, you need to fix it, you know? Um, and, and most likely you have to fix it manually by hand investigate each one of the error and fix it create the payments and so on and so forth so the second thing you can do to make sure your salesforce org is up to speed is run the salesforce optimizer this will analyze the whole org not just an npsp related stuff but the whole salesforce org and then send you a pdf report a pdf report extensive pdf report on what needs your attention 
so most likely you will see like too many fields too many admins it's just going to send you all the recommendations that you can do when you have the time because as a non-profit most likely you are the only person in charge of everything if you're running a smaller non-profit then when time allows you can also you know follow those recommendations so to do that you go to set up the gear icon over here and then go to setup and then optimizer quick find optimizer mm, i don't see it there maybe because it's a trailhead yeah I, I, I think because it's a trailhead we don't see it because it's a playground it should be under setup here right yeah because i've done that before a few times um i don't think i have to show you on my real org but yeah if you if you're running on your production org you can do that and you will have optimizer because this is a playground you don't even see it there all right let's do the quiz together what does NPSP health check do? Fixes account data, checks all custom objects, runs a bunch of tests related to your NPSP settings and object. When is a good time to run Salesforce Optimizer? Before you've done, when you're first implementing, during your trial period, when you, when you inherit a Salesforce org. Yeah. So say you are assigned, you are a new admin, so you know, Hmm, did the previous admin did a good job of maintaining the org? Then you just inherited a Salesforce org. You want to do an optimizer and see what's going on. Is it up to speed or is it a clunky junk <laughs> dragging around? You know, you need to fix a bunch of things. Okay, I'll see you on the next section. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.